beg your pardon. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. This isn't the sort of project I thought we'd have crammed down our throats. We're looking at The Wild Wild Planet, the film Health and Safety Forgot. Yeah! Commander Mike Halstead has two problems. Things with his sort of girlfriend Connie are on the rocks. <laughs> My guess is problems in the bedroom. One quick thrust upwards and then release. Everybody wants Connie. She's 100% woman. And is keen to keep reminding us. And I'm a woman. I like to be treated as a woman. I'm a woman and a woman is obviously different from a man. And I'm going to accept that holiday as sure as I'm a woman. This holiday is something she's been invited on by smooth-talking Mr. Nermi. I was admiring your physique. But when she arrives, it turns out the hotel isn't up to code. Mike, meanwhile, has bigger problems to deal with. An epidemic of bizarre kidnappings. And I do mean epidemic. If it continues by the end of this week, there will be 6,000 disappearances a day in this city alone. That seems like a lot. Who's responsible? Mike, I think I've uncovered something. Oh, what? Girls. A group of women accompanied by strange, bald men are kidnapping people. <laughs> Okay, firstly, that was weird. You will admit that these are most peculiar goings on. Secondly, they don't exactly blend in. And given the number of women and strange bald men required to kidnap 6,000 people a day, I feel like someone should have made the connection earlier. That is not humorous, Commander. Mike and his team take down one of the bald men. Well, that was too much for her. They also capture one of the women. Watch out for those gadgets on their chests! They're called breasts. What are you talking about? And it's bad news. Nermi is involved and Connie is missing. I'm on to you, Nermi. Again, you really should have been on to him sooner. Quite a few people lately have... simply disappeared. Now we learn the shocking truth about the kidnap victims. I've sort of raced through the first half because I couldn't really follow what the hell was going on. I think I could have predicted that. But in the second, as Mike and his friends race to rescue Connie, it becomes James Bond. Welcome on board, Commander. Albeit with a much less engaging hero. I'm a person. Just barely. We have karate kicking fembots. <laughs> A bad guy who insists on showing the hero round rather than just killing him. He favoured me with a tour of his station. I would like to return the compliment. Fast cars! OK, not that fast. Ineffectual guards. When I give the word, start swinging at these creeps. There's no way that plan should work. Now! <laughs> it actually gets worse. I'm here! <laughs> oh, amongst the mirrors, you've completely vanished. Kind of makes me sick to my stomach. Above all, we have a sort of late-era Roger Moore supervillain who has a plan for world domination that defies comprehension. Miniature people. Twenty years we worked to achieve this. No kidding, twenty years. Time well spent. These mirrors reflect your image into infinity. In the same way, I will achieve the perfect synthesis of the human race, which could be duplicated millions of times. OK, I'm not quite making the connection between that and the miniaturization, but I'm sure it will all come together. And my flesh will absorb hers, and we will be fused into one person. Again? That seems like a separate thing. Three pretty useless experiments not coming together in an harmonious whole. Why, you... you helium-headed idiot, you! Why did you do this? For the good of humanity. Absolutely. Who hasn't occasionally thought, gee, I wish I was a tiny hermaphrodite with infinite reflections? 
Is this the doing of a mad scientist? Needless to say, Mike foils this plan, and the base is destroyed while he rescues... We made it, boy. <laughs> well, there's Connie and his boss. As good an end as any. It would be, if not for the 6,000 kidnapped victims a day he didn't save, who now lie in a watery grave. That's not very James Bond. You're unfair, unkind, uncouth, and I just... No. I just hate the sight of you. OK, that was pretty James Bond. Thanks for watching. People who don't subscribe will be miniaturised by a strange bald man. Can you think of any cinematic plans less coherent than this one? How would you take over the world? Let us know your plans for global domination in the comments below. You've seen nothing. You've heard nothing and you know nothing, you understand?